Tonight, Tennesseans are remembering a man who devoted more than a quarter century to serving our state. Former Senator Roy Heron passed away after a jet ski accident July 1st. Today, even former Vice President Al Gore took to Twitter, posting Roy was a steadfast advocate for the working people of Tennessee and always stood up for our most vulnerable. News 2's Nikki McGee has more from one senator who says for him, the loss is personal. Nikki. Well, yeah, Kenley, Senator Jeff Yarbrough is one of many lawmakers grieving this loss today. Yarbrough tells me he grew up in Heron's district and the two met when Yarbrough was only 15. Tonight, he remembers Heron as a friend, a mentor and an advocate for many. 69 year old Roy Heron is being remembered across the volunteer state for his public service and his dedication to advocating for those in need. One taking the loss especially to heart, Senator Jeff Yarborough. I met him when I was 15. The attorney from Dresden, Tennessee, was also a preacher and author. He served in the Tennessee House and Senate for a combined 26 years and eventually went on to chair the Tennessee Democratic Party. Yarborough remembers Heron as the first person to invite him onto the Tennessee Senate floor. He was a mentor and guide to so many young people who made their way into public service across our state and then also someone who just served with distinction and fought for the little guy. That same conviction drove some of his greatest influence on policy in our state. He was someone who was always on the lookout for what's going to be best for children that are growing up in small towns or big cities that didn't have a lot. He was looking out for how do you make health care better? How do you make public schools better? How do you just give people a shot to make their lives come out a little better? Although the loss comes unexpectedly, Heron no doubt will have a lasting legacy in the state of Tennessee. He wasn't just a great public servant. He was a good and decent man. And uh, we're, we're all a little poorer in Tennessee without him. Heron leaves behind his wife Nancy and their three sons. His funeral will, will be held in Martin, Tennessee next Saturday. Kenley. Thanks so much, Nikki. State House Democrat Caucus Chair and Representative John Ray Clemens said throughout his life, Roy Heron worked tirelessly for the people of Tennessee. As a lawmaker, I have sincerely appreciated and valued his sage advice and perspective over the years. Roy was a true public servant and a man of faith who loved his family, his fellow Tennesseans, and our great state. Roy Heron will be missed by all.